Swazula, you Gordon Ramsay wrinkles. <laughs> How the hell are ya? All right. So during the last couple of days after my video of my honest opinions on what was released and shown off around Tenocon, I've been doing a lot of uh, searching around the community and been looking into some things. I've been reading all of the comment section as I usually do. I've been kind of watching a couple of Discord chats, chatting about certain things, uh, yada yada. And something hit me. It seems like the community is really longing for something to be done with the so-called Call of Duty or Vaso Space. <laughs> and I would agree with that, but I already mentioned that in my last video. So just to bring you guys up to speed as to what the hell it is I've even talking about, even if you haven't seen that video, then essentially we saw actual new Warframe related content because uh, doing an extermination mission on Earth versus doing an extermination mission on Sedna isn't content, it's copy-paste, it's the same stuff over and over and over again, right? Um, solid content would be something completely new that is probably very different from the regular game, and that's what we got during the showcase of the new war stuff. So we got Kal, where you play as the Grenier, and that is very, very different from the usual Warframe pace. It opens the doors to a whole new avenue of game experience. And um, the same with Vaso, and the same with Teshin. Now my fear, as I also mentioned in that last video, is that we're going to see this happen during the uh, New War quest while we play through it, and then never again. Just like those weird Orokin worms that we had to fight against during the, uh, during the War Within. So, the wish is, the desire seems to be that DE does something with it. Don't let it be locked behind only that quest, but maybe after completing that quest, you will have access to those game modes for other missions as well and make it more of a regular thing. What I failed to mention in the last video, but to be fair, I don't feel like I need to explain every little detail of my thoughts as if I was talking to a two-year-old, because I would assume that you guys have the brain capacity to imagine beyond every single detail, but okay, I'll mention it anyway. The fucking missions would have to be optional, okay? You would do them simply because they're there and you can do them and you are in the mood to play them and they of course would have to be well refined, which honestly according to the footage that we saw during Tenocon, it did look pretty refined. I mean, just if it works like that, uh, as uh, as seen in those videos in the game, it, assuming it would be in implemented today. If it works just like that, then I think that it could definitely stand alone uh, as a game mode. But what exactly do we do with it? And the community made a suggestion, two suggestions that I'd like to go over in this video today to raise awareness about it, get people talking about it, see what your thoughts are uh, if you haven't thought about it as well. Um, I know that it kind of took me by surprise because the answer is right there and it's so obvious. Oh my god, I can't believe that I didn't see that immediately. So, assuming New War has already been released and we played through it and we're thrilled and it was great and whatever and now we're twiddling our thumbs again and we're waiting for the next piece of content. What could DE possibly do to implement Call of Duty and Vaso Space gameplay? Um, as a permanent staple in the Warframe gameplay arsenal. Well, invasions! You remember those mission types that are basically the same mission types that we've been playing all these years anyway, just they're called invasions and they're, they're, you have to uh, choose a faction that you want to support, but ultimately you just kill everybody the same way you do all the time? You know those things? Those, those, those not very interesting or even different <laughs> mission types? Those. Why not put it there? So imagine in the future, after having played the uh, the new war quest, imagine if you would go to an invasion because you're kind of in the mood or they might be dropping something that you would like to have, uh, like they already do occasionally, you know? Imagine you click on it and then you have the option to either support the corpus or you have the option to support the grenier. And if you choose whichever one, then you go into the gameplay as that uh, faction that you chose. 
If you choose Grenier, you'll be something like Kal or a different um, a Grenier unit. Doesn't have to be him specifically, but some kind of a Grenier unit, but that kind of gameplay with that particular unit's own specific missions. It could be kind of anything. Infiltrate infiltrate this and this or go assist the troops on the field or whatever it doesn't matter we can think of all kinds of mission types in that direction but just the fact that invasions would then become their own actual piece of content that could be completely different and fun to play opposed to what they are now because let's face it right now they're regular mission types they're just called invasions uh and you see the you see two factions at the same time in the in the game that's that's the only difference between them other than that they really don't do anything for anyone as a game mode right so why not make them an actual thing you know something that's actually interesting don't even necessarily have to tinker with the uh, rewards all that much because those rewards are nice to have for people that need them um, but they're completely useless for people who don't need them however uh, one way or another the option to play them at any given time is there, sort of like Railjack, just without having to grind uh, half of your soul away before you can actually build a Railjack and start playing them. It's just a game mode that would be good and fun and it's there and you can choose to play it if you want to or not. Or you can choose to play it if you need something from there or not. No forced content, none of that. It's just an option to play Warframe a little bit differently with a little bit of a different pace. Same thing with Teshin. We could implement him in the same kind of way, right? So let me know what you guys think about that. Um, the second suggestion that I saw, which was a little bit more obvious to me, and I was honestly very surprised that so many people seem to actually be on board with this. You guys remember when we mentioned Necromech PvP and how cool that could be? And bear in mind, guys, I understand full well that not a lot of people need PvP in Warframe. And honestly, I don't think that Warframe necessarily needs PvP either. However, PvP is there, it's just really bad, right? So if it's going to be there, why not have good PvP? You don't have to play it if you don't like PvP, but if you do want to play it, it might as well be good, don't you think? Or do you guys really love playing Frame Fighter? I don't. So. Necromech PvP was mentioned a couple times here and there, and now with Call of Duty and Vezo Space and uh, te uh, Teshino <laughs> uh, out there, the idea is how about make that or use that kind of gameplay, that kind of game style for PvP. So you have maybe four versus four players. It's kind of um, like an arena shooter kind of thing. If you want a very, very, very nice visualization of this, the best thing I can think of right now that isn't Overwatch is actually Apex Legends Arena mode. It's 3v3 because that's how Apex is built, um, but it's a small enclosed area and the squad goes, uh, the two squads go toe to toe, and whoever wipes out the other squad uh, first is the winner for that round, at least. And I think that that setup could actually work really, really well uh, for a Warframe PvP where you play as Grenier or Corpus. I think that that would work actually pretty good, you know? Um, and. I was surprised that the community seems to be on board with that. I wouldn't even have suggested it until I started seeing so many people saying, hey man, this would be a cool option for PvP, and I have to agree. It could be made really cool. I probably prefer that if DE does take action into either of these directions, that they should probably prioritize the invasions because I suspect that that will appease more players uh, than PvP, but I mean no reason why the PvP couldn't come after, you know, so what do you guys think? Do you guys think that there's potential there? Would you like to see the invasions actually be well something different and something kind of cool something kind of fun? Do you guys even want to have the option? Emphasis on that word. Do you guys even want to have the option in Warframe generally to play as a Grenier unit or as a Corpus unit or occasionally as Teshin for no reason at all other than the fact that you want to and it's fun and maybe you need some of the low tier rewards that happen to drop from those levels. Would you guys be interested in that? Would you like it? How about PvP? Which one would you prefer? I'm curious. 
Anyways, now that the info is out there, I'm kind of actually very surprised at the community about this. Um, but now that the information is out there, let me know your thoughts. Uh, mingle with your clan mates. Let it be known on the forums. Let DE know if you want this. Raise awareness about this and maybe DE will hear us out. And maybe in due time we will get another iteration of Warframe that is even better than before. Because that would be really, really, really nice. Right. That's all I have to say. Now get your Gordon Ramsay asses back into the kitchen or something. But before you go, don't forget to like and subscribe to this shitty channel and fuck off.